Hey guys, and welcome back to Outlast. When we last left off, um, we were dealing with a very confused young man. Um, he wants to make babies with us. Which is very silly, considering we don't have the right equipment. Uh oh, is he coming straight? No, he's not coming straight towards us. Whores? Excuse me, if I was a whore, my butt cheeks would be spread and waiting for you. Whereas I'm trying to do the opposite. That's right. Fuck off. Alright, I'm starting to lose my temper with you, sir. I don't want your your dicky, I'm afraid. In fact, you'll rip my womb from my rotten guts. Okay, so buddy, again, again, you need some serious education. And again, calling me a whore, it's just you you have very little understanding. Ouch, thank you. And on top of this, you're beating me. Uh oh. Oh dear. I'm starting to get the impression. Now call me crazy. But I'm starting to get the impression that this gentleman is not very nice. Or very gentle for that matter. Oh, I'm trying to be patient as well. Please stop calling me darling. It's off-putting. It's kind of lazy as well, you know? Darling oh. Ouch! Darling whore! Now, come on. This is going to get worse before it gets better. At least that was a relatively quick death. Now, Waylon, you know what this guy's going to do to you. I recommend trying to fight back. A good smack in the solar plexus or in the nuts would drop any man. Any person, really. Maybe not the nuts thing. Yeah, well, I want a divorce. And we're not even married yet. I certainly don't want to consummate anything with you. And as for the whole womb thing, mate. Did your daddy... Did your daddy never talk to you about the birds and the bees? Or even your mother, for that matter. I got news for you, pal. If you find someone that you like, and you disrobe them, and we're rumbled, and they're not packing the equipment that you desire, forced surgery is not really the way to go about it. The other person might get a little bit upset. Understandably so. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, I shouldn't say things like that to him. He probably gets excited. Oh, keep going. Just keep going. I don't know where we're going. As long as we don't end up with a cock in our ass. Oh, dear. Better than the alternative, mate. Yes. Yeah. Uh, cool story, bro. Oh. oh, mate. I don't know how we survived that. Maybe taking it in the ass would have been less painful. But to be honest, I don't want to find out. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. 
I think we deserve, after going through all of this, guys, we deserve to survive. Eddie Goldskin. Oh, so that was his actual name. So he's 46. Oh, 2013. Good year, apparently. Uh, lucid dreaming figures remain as murky as ever. Goldskin claims near constant control of his dreamlike state. Yet, correspondence between his narrative and REM cycles, highly arith uh, arithmetic, REM and NREM, uh, morphogenic engine activity, plateau at 90 ppm. Diagnosis. Heavy bronchial ac accumulation. The rash associated with hormone therapy have receded and vanished since we stopped using latex tubing. So he's allergic to latex. Oh my god. So he can't even use rubbers. Oh. Oh dear. Uh, interview notes. Goldskin remains a frustrating interview subject. He's still trying to tell us that he, th what he thinks we want to hear, whilst studiously avoiding certain elements of the truth. His childhood remains an obvious fiction. He is claiming to have grown up in a leave it, leave it to Beaver. Grown up in a leave it to Beaver. What the hell's that? Despite a traumatically violent ongoing sexual experience that is a matter of public and medical record, huh. when I confronted him uh, with the photographs of his father and uncle, oh, with the photographs his father and uncle took, oh dear, he responds with a mixture of laughter and anger. Restraints were issued. He similarly refuses to discuss his victims, both categorically and specifically, when I showed him pictures of the women, he would not admit that they were dead or mutilated. Oh, so he did actually mutilate women uh, before he was institutionalized. Hmm. He is claiming advancement in the morphogenic engine program that he has not yet achieved. Said that he could clearly hear the voices of the wall rider just by closing his eyes. Clearly, he's still trying to carry the favor of his doctors. I won't speculate at what he expects to gain by it. Hmm. So, this is the most fucked up individual we have uh, encountered thus far. Well, hopefully we're out of here. We now have a battery, a single solitary battery. Are we now... Ooh, exit. Are we now away from this dick? Oh, another battery. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. I'm not sure why the batteries make those sounds when... Oh, God. Are we, oh, are we still in this building? Um, not sure why those batteries make those sounds. Kind of interesting. We are going to close that behind us. Because we need every advantage. We've got two gammy legs now. Door needs a key. Door needs a key. Of course it does. Find the key to access the mail. We don't really want to access the mail ward, though. Surely. Surely we just need to get the Steven out of here. Jog on. Get home to Lisa for tea and medals. Uh-oh. We're not going to see the crazy chef again, are we? And nothing good happened in there. Nothing good. Oh, God. What have we got? Bluebeard's... Bluebeard's wives. Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits. Men mutilated, haunted... Oh, hunted and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear his children. He's making women to kill them. So, he's mutilating the men into women and then killing them. Whew. Jesus. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence if it ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money and wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood. Meat decomposing to game. 
Yeah. You know, this game really touches on some pretty strong themes. And that's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, pretty crazy stuff, to be fair. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, hello. All right there. Just uh, having a look about. No worries. I'm just uh, on my way. Oh, man. Oh, my. He... Oh, God, look. He's done it to loads of people. Bloody hell. Well, Jesus wept. Well, out of all the people in the game, or all of the, what do you call them, the, the bosses, I guess? Yeah, he's one of the more messed up ones. Definitely. Let's, let's get out of here. Oh, dear. Yeah, mate, you need Jesus. Yeah, well, the little girl that you have in mind doesn't exist. And you should be nicer to the ladies. I mean, seriously. They don't like being murdered. I assume, anyway. I mean, I'm sure there's a one or two out there that have the the fetish, you know. But uh, usually, it's all it's, it's all role play, you know. I know some ladies that have had some crazy um, <clears throat> wants, but you know, it it's all role play, mate. You're not supposed to actually go through with it. You're a fucking psycho. God fucking damn it. How am I going to get past this cretin now? Oh, have we been in here? Have we been in here? Yes, we have. Damn it. Look, your dad... Look, your dad fiddled with you, alright? That much is, I guess, confirmed. I had a pretty traumatic upbringing as well. But I never became Jack the fucking Ripper. In fact, far from it. I despise violence towards women. It is the lowest... Oh dear. Of the low. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? If a woman's coming at you with a knife or whatever, you have every right to defend yourself. But, come on, man. Oh. Yeah, I am. I'm like all the others, mate. I'm, I'm just after one thing and one thing only. That's the key to get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry if this upsets you. Shit. Oh, dear. I'm running into him. We should be running away from him, not into him. Oh yeah, he's faster than us now, isn't he? Well, <sighs> bugger. You know, Silent Hill uh, 2 obviously covered some pretty extreme things. But this game is so much worse. I don't want your children, mate. Your children don't even want to be your children. Right, let's shift this. You are what goes bump in the night.
Alright, let's just hide in here. Alright, don't breathe. Don't fart. Don't even think. I can probably hear your thoughts. I know, right? Terrible not wanting to be murdered and raped. That is just not on, is it? I think you're even beyond Jesus, to be honest. Heaven forbid they want a nice partner to settle down with that's going to treat them right. Damn it, he's gone up here and he, we need to go up here too. Piss. Ooh. Nope, that's where we kind of came from. Shit. Sneak, 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 sneak. Shit. Oh, mate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nothing to see in here, matey. Oh, I love me. I actually happen to think I'm quite spiffy. If no one else does, then that's too bad. Oh, God, here he comes. Right, well, ass cakes. I think we're hosed again. We're definitely hosed again. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Yes, you bastard. Fuck you, buddy. I hope you burn. Now, where the hell was the key? Oh, hey, chap. Nice to see you're still <laughs> hanging around. Where was that door that we needed? Mail ward. Okay, we are going the right way. That's comforting. Up and over. <sighs> We're not done with this guy yet, are we? Well, maybe we are. Was that not the door? Oh, that was the door. Sneaky, sneaky. There we go. Oh, shit. Mate. One more. Try. And I try. You all betrayed me. Stop swinging your fists around then. It's not rocket science. Um, I'd rather not. Oh, no. Oh, no. It can't end like this. <laughs> what are you saying? You're talking about middle-aged spread. Oh. Ooh. Oh shit, we're going back up. You need to behave. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite content the way I am. Um, I really want to have a look at him. Ooh. Couldn't have happened to a nicer chap. Can we? There we go. Well, under the circumstances, sir. Best thing that could have happened to you. You will not be missed. A widower. He's dead. The amateur surgeon. Father to be husband. His gut shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh god, Lisa. I swear to you I'm trying. It's alright. Embrace it. Embrace the crazies. 
Where did that come from? Well, all right. Oh, God, sweet, dear serenity. Ah. <sighs> You know, they say it takes trauma to turn you towards religion. But I think it's going to have the opposite effect. What kind of mad god would uh, allow this to continue? I suppose the religious people would say, but it didn't continue. He died in the end. That was God acting through, I don't know, us, I suppose. But I say, no. That was my instinct, my will to survive. I take it God didn't help these guys. Let's just get out of it. God is very selective with who he helps and who he doesn't. Damn it, get off religion. Get off religion. Okay. Hopefully we're now unopposed. So let's see. We've been hung. We've had our knees shattered. Our bones broken. And that is not the right one. Our knees shattered. Our bones broken. We have... Uh, Almost been castrated. That would have been uncomfortable. I assume. I've never been castrated. But I assume that would be rather unpleasant. The male ward. Don't really want to go in here. But whatever. I guess we don't have a choice. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Why is that on fire? It's actually quite a cool little picture there. Um, is that because of... Is that because Father Martin's gone up? It can't be. This has got to be quite a bit before. A chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know we had a church. Where's God when you need him? Um. I don't know. Same place as the unicorns and the pixies, I suppose. Right. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I've seen enough dick and balls as well. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now, they're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out, escape. Well, apart from the wall rider, apart from the wall rider, they're actually pretty good at protecting themselves. Kill anything that moves. Um, well, I suppose we should have seen that coming. Are we going to get shot again? It would kind of suck if we did. I'm hoping we don't get shot. Ooh. Oh, that's the psycho doctor chap. So this is running um, alongside the main story. That is so cool. 
That is so cool. So, that church is obviously where Father Martin's just gone up in flames. That looks like a person. So we're going to avoid that. I guess we ain't going through there. So yeah, Father Martin has just gone up. I guess that makes sense. Because the uh, PMCs have just arrived. So... Uh, Miles is just about to get shot. Oh, holy hell, guys. This is administration. Damn. We're so close. What? Something is going to go wrong. Something is going to go wrong, surely. Let's just keep moving. Is there anything to find? Is there any documentation? Doesn't look like it. I kind of... I'm hoping there is some... Oh! Well, we can run again. I guess our leg wound has healed itself. Oh, so close. Back to where it all started. Bucker. Doors locked. And we can't go through there. Shit. Come on, we're so close to victory. I think. I hope. So close to the outside. That much is true. We can't go that way. Have a look at going downstairs, I suppose. I guess we are going downstairs. Yep, this looks good. You'd have thought the military. There's the exit there. You'd have thought the military would have had the. Mr. Park. <laughs> How the fuck are you still alive? <sighs> Let's make a deal. Oh. Whoa. No. No way. No one can know. No one. Fuck you, Blair. At least you got a quick death. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. You're not dead yet. Come on. On your feet, soldier. That's what I like. All right, let's read the note. Jeremy Blair. Jeremy Blair, my supervisor's supervisor. A man who'd see me skin salted and raped for a promotion and a few martinis. Injured, dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him, I really am. But there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Fucking A, Waylon. Fucking A. Oh, I wonder if we leave in... What's his name's car? <gasps> Look, what a beautiful sight. I wonder if we do leave in Miles' car. Oh no, don't die, man. If we died, that would be such bullshit. There's... <gasps> There's Miles' car. 
Yes! She's gassed up and ready. Um, come on, come on. It's got a hell of a turning circle on that thing. You press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. Good. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Ooh. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? This is like WikiLeaks. Press left, left mouse button. So you don't have a choice here, personally. If it met. If it meant hurting my family, no matter what happened, I don't think I could do it. Because after all, for the clan, everything is for the clan. But fuck them. So the news did get out. That was awesome. That was, in my opinion, I'm going to have to turn it down now. In my opinion, that was better than the main story. It was short and sweet. And actually, much like the um, the main story, I've sat down and I finished it in one setting. Sitting. Um, some seriously strong themes um, covered in this game that I was not expecting that. I mean, that's probably the most messed up um, antagonist in the game so far that, that I've ever seen, I think. You know, the woman murderer with the mutilating the men and... Damn, that is so messed up. In fact, he was so desperate to, to murder and violate women, he was creating women out of men's bodies to just to murder. And his whole deranged demeanor was insane. And it was fantastically done. Yeah, very happy with that game. That was great. I pretty much enjoyed every minute of it. Again, I didn't like the battery situation. I, th I thought also that the story was tighter. In this game. Um, the whistleblower stuff... I think it was a better game overall than the first one. The first one was good and it was enjoyable. But the antagonists in this game were a lot better as well. And the world felt more alive. There was a lot more NPCs going around, you know? And it was kind of interesting that towards the end of the game, it was kind of obvious that the two stories were intersecting as well. I liked that a lot. I mean, you know, the journalist died, but fuck journalists. Who cares? Uh, paparazzi, I should say. But yeah, it was good to see uh, our friend Waylon. I keep wanting to say Waylon Smithers. Waylon Park surviving. I'm hoping he made it back to his family and everything's happy and all the rest of it. But who knows? Who knows? I wonder if there's going to be some more after the credits. I kind of hope so. I kind of hope there's more, unless it's all left up to your imagination, which it probably would be. In which case, they will survive and have a happy ever after. Or would it be more interesting if they all got horribly murdered and sold off as experiments? Huh. I guess you can have it both ways if it's left up to your imagination. I like the way the theme music as well um, isn't long enough for the entirety of the credits.
That's something that you don't see every day. But let's see. Let's watch. See if there's any more. Nope. That's it. That is Outlast complete. Um, both DLC packs. You know, I'm actually curious about playing Outlast 2 now. Um, I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but I'm I'm interested in it. I enjoyed that a lot. I really did. It's funny. First time through, I didn't like the game. When it first came out on the PS4. But going through it again... I've kind of warmed to it, shall we say. Hmm. So, anyway guys. At the time of me recording this, I think we're only just halfway through the Outlast LP. So this is way, we are so far ahead of this. It's not even funny at this point. And because that is like three weeks of videos ahead for me, I don't know what's coming next after this. Um, so now I just need to catch up on South Park, which who knows by the time you see this might have been completed as well. Wow, we are so far ahead. It's crazy. We're so far ahead. We're in another fucking time zone. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.